back to the over the shoulder podcast episode 25 this week we're going over the tna slash impact world championship history and like every week i know you guys know who's on the other side of the screen my co-host i don't think he needs an introduction of course rob fig zinc Staniloff. go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us who we have on this week oh i'm telling you matt max i i would love to be able to change my name to the figures inc um well my middle name i guess but we have a very very special uh co-host here um recent uh well belt addicts anonymous hall of famer um actually just joined the belt addicts anonymous admin team uh as well and very very big into impact uh impact wrestling uh, with snaps and straps uh brandon douglas is making his is well i think it's the third appearance brandon uh that you're making on our uh on our podcast um he w- he did the hardcore episode with us he did the 2001 attitude uh figures in line with um, jamie and casey but brandon say hello to everybody thank you guys again for having me on it's a pleasure you know yes this is the third one appreciate it again for having me on and you guys are awesome and i thank you again for having me at, as one of your admins it's a pleasure it's an honor uh wonderful freaking uh class you got coming in here this this next one coming up i think it's probably one of the top ones that we've had uh you know and in, in, here in a hot minute um guys did a great job you know rounding all those people up um but yeah thanks man for having me on let's get this thing going I don't think you could have even said it uh, better than that, Max. Let's jump right into this episode. Yeah, no, for sure. I'll start off with the original TNA World Championship. And I know this design is loved by many people. I know this design and the next one after this are the main ones that are discussed when you talk about the best world championships from TNA. For me personally, um, yeah, no, sorry. For everyone who loves this belt, I'm sorry. Uh it just doesn't do it for me. That main plate, uh, that main plate just looks so weird. I don't know. I, the, the wings coming out just seems so weird at the top for me. The rest of it's not bad. It's dual plated. You know, I love dual plated belts. I just wish I had some paint. It seems kind of bare. I wish I had a little bit of paint. Not too much. Just a little bit of paint would have helped. Love the grommets. Love the side plates. Remind me of the, <laughs> actually, I feel like the IWGP version 5 or the IWGP Intercontinental Championship took some inspiration from the side plates looking at them now. Of course, the grommets there. It's not bad. The side plates are kind of bland. They're just kind of this repeated design. It's okay. The main plate doesn't do it for me. I wish I had a bit of paint. It's okay. What do you think, Rob? Uh, well, you know, I always complain about one thing with respect to these titles. Lack of paint and man, Max, you really hit it on the nose. Um, there is no paint. Dual plated. Very, very nice. I got to tell you, though, that main plate... It kind of looks like a fucking crab. So if you look at the top here, yeah. you've got like the arms like kind of coming out here. And then I, I don't know what the hell is happening here with like, I don't know. You've got like the legs coming out on like the other <laughs> sides. You could call it legs or you can call it a fucking crown like a king. I have no idea. Grommets are cool. The leather cut. The leather cut is nice, but it doesn't go with the main plate at all. And the grommets are nice. Grommets are okay. The side plates are actually better than the main plate, even though I don't know what that's saying. Um, I really, really don't like this. I really don't. Uh, slap more paint on it, and then, like, the main plate, do something else with it. Again, I don't get it. I don't get what they're trying to pull here. Um, nice tooling. I mean, I guess after I just shat on that belt, Brandon, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> uh. It, it seems like when they designed the belt, they took like half of the belt and they just cut it off and they just put it on the plate. You know, I feel like it's not like the full extendo of the uh, of the uh, template mm-hmm. there. Um, you, you'd be surprised in the Impact universe right now. Um, you have a lot of the older wrestlers that actually 
like this bell. Um, Eddie Eddie Edwards, he uh, he's a big fan of this bell. He actually, um, there was a fan, a good friend of mine now, that was at the tapings with me. Uh, he always brought that belt with him. Um, it's one of his favorite belts. I always question him why, you know, but, you know, people have their faves, you know, but uh, it, he did what I did. I, when I bring all my belts to the events, I uh, attach them to the guardrail there, snap them mm. there. Uh, he did the same thing with his, and Eddie Edwards came and looked at the belt, took a couple steps back, grabbed, ripped the belt off the guardrail, and proceeded to use it on uh, Moose, which was pretty funny. Um, and he said, man, I love that belt, and actually, I'll be... I'll be eventually be making one for him here uh, next year, uh, beginning of the year. Um, he, need, he needs it made for him. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not a fan of it. Um, like Rob had stated, you know, the grommets are cool. You know, I think that's, you know, kind of bringing, like, the NWA, uh, you know, kind of version, because I believe that around that time there's there was still in Cohese there. So, um, so I'm not a big fan of it. Um, does need some more uh, color to it. Bring out that TNA logo, uh, but other than that, yeah, it's it's not one of my faves. But again, yeah, for sure, some people some people like it. It's 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 probably one of the top. You'll be surprised. It's probably one of the top ten belts in you know TNA Impact. You know, as a rating wise for a fan standpoint. But other than that, you know, it's it's a pass for me. Yeah, for sure. Um, but of course, I know what probably people love it because of the history. You can see there are three huge names holding that belt. Kurt Angle on the left, Sting on the right, and of course the phenomenal one, AJ Styles in the middle. And you can argue and there's a lot of people who love design just because of nostalgia or just because of who held that actual belt. And you know, I, I can't argue against that. You know, if you like a belt, all for, you know, all power to you, that's all you Personally, I don't like it. Um, it looks a little better. I like it on Kurt Angle there, but it kind of just looks bland. I mean, next to the IWGP V3, which is a beauty of a belt, I think it just looks kind of bland. Like, the IWGP has a bit of pop from the colored stones. It needs some color. If it had a bit of color on that TNA logo, I can't even tell what belt it is. It just seems like gold and silver. I can see the crab lip crab legs popping up i don't know what belt it is i can't tell if it's the world title if it's a mid card title if it's a tag team title i don't know i don't even know what promotion it's for because i can't see the fucking logo so please add some paint to it remove the crab legs and it's a not bad belt now moving on to a beauty of a belt of course the wildcat tna world championship and i think you guys know what this belt looks like you know how beautiful it is you know the history behind it it's a beautiful design. Um, now, this may be a boot. I just grabbed a picture that tried to show most of the plates. But speaking mm -hmm. on the design itself, we all know what it looks like. We know the belt we're talking about. Absolute beauty. You see the 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 text is actually painted in. So it was no. I mean, it's not too much paint. There's no color paint on there. Just a black outlining letters and the text, which I think looks way better. It makes the letters pop. Makes the logo TNA logo pop a lot more. You can actually read it from a distance. Love the shape of the plates. Love the globes on the side. Love the sideways TNA. Leather cut actually fits the belt, so I love that. And it doesn't have crab legs. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, I, I agree with you. I love the design. I absolutely do. I mean, the official replica though is one heavy ass motherfucker of a belt I and mean, it absolutely is licensed beautiful i love the design a lot better than the other belt at least this main plate doesn't look like a fucking crab it actually looks like a title it actually does um with respect to the side plates really cool um i do like how they do the tna on the outermost side plate uh love the stones love the leather cut um i mean it's a lot better and like it's great you actually put some color on this I mean, you definitely did. So, you know what? I mean, I absolutely love it. Um, is it something that I would get probably in the collection? Yeah, probably. Because why? Why? Because of the Rare Figures Ink Bell Collector, even though, fine, whatever. But licensed. The licensed. It's licensed. And again, I'm going to go back to that licensed. Anyways, Brandon, what do you think? <laughs> licensed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I love, like I said, man, any, all the belts, man, TN, TNA, man, best Wildcat, um, the replica, they're they're all freaking amazing. I love it. Um, the, def, the detail and definition to, uh, you know, how they, you know, exhilarate the heavyweight, you know, champion, you know, it's, it's cool, heavy belt. Um, 
just all around the history. Um, like I said it's big. It's really big impact. Um, the actual belt that Christian had, um, I had tried to put an offer in to it. Uh, his wow. name's Ross. He's the uh, head of like security of Impact. Um, does all the seating arrangements, and uh, he's actually the doctor. Uh, he plays the doctor role when uh, somebody gets hurt, so that, that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I had uh, I had offered him, you know, a little little bit uh, for it, and he uh, happily declined. So uh, I'm gonna keep trying to budge for it here, you know, because I really want that belt. But yeah, it's an awesome belt. Love it. You know, ten ten stars. You, you see, you see, Max, we're not the only ones. I mean, when I offered twenty three hundred US for a belt and I got declined, there you go. You see how it feels. <laughs> Yeah, yeah let's, no just say, let's just say it was it was around that, and yeah. he, he still said no. <laughs> yeah. And of course, one of the most popular designs held by lots of wrestlers. Of course, you see EC3 on the left, Austin Aries, which is a little controversial now, but we won't talk about that. And of course, Moose in the middle. Uh, when I think about TNA, of course, I think about Moose, very loyal wrestler, very wonderful wrestler, great champion, and belt looks damn good on him. Let's talk about that snap box, though. I love it. I love how that leather just cuts in, and it's not an abrupt. Like I know a lot of boots are, uh, a lot of boot makers are gonna do this, and it's gonna be abrupt, and it's very hard to see. But you can see where the snap box starts, and there's yeah. a little tiny triangle there. Yeah. Oh, I love that detail. It just transitions into the toolbox, but it's not a super steep like straight into the snap box. You can see a little bit of a transition. That looks fucking perfect, and the little tooling for the. But the gold tip would have been, of course, on, it's not on the fem on the male snaps, it's on the other side. That looks fucking great. And that tooling, again, that tooling go around the main plate, just I, I, I have no words. I'm just lost for words how good that belt looks on news. The lighting, the leather, everything about it looks amazing. Uh, That's a champion right there, Max. I mean, seriously. I and mean, even the belt looks like huge on news. Huh. He makes it look amazing absolutely incredible i i mean i love that tooling I, I absolutely do i love the snap box i love everything about it uh i love this belt guys i mean i absolutely love this belt and again it's just man it's incredible it's just fucking incredible it's like if it ever comes up i'm like i have to have it again i gotta have it <laughs> yeah, i know it's a beauty and then of course brought back uh earlier this year or last year, of course, Brandon, I don't watch Impact. Uh, that being so, some of my facts may be probably wrong. Brandon, you can fact check me. Of course, being brought back, used in storyline. Can you explain that? Because I don't really know why I was brought back, like the the old design. All right, so here's, here's the whole story. I'll give you the actual story story behind this. Mm -hmm. um, so Moose, good friend of mine. Um, we met uh, in July at Slammiversary. Uh, and we had talked before then, um, but uh, him and I developed a great relationship. Uh, we, we really, we literally talk every day. Um, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, blow it up or anything, but, um, and it's really not even about wrestling. Um, we just have day-to-day -day conversation. Um, but yeah, he's a great dude, man. Um, I'm glad and pleasure, you know, for, uh, to, to be working with him hooks me up whenever I need something takes, you know, always taking care of people. Um, and I'm actually one of the first people, uh, that got to get him to do an interview, not like an interview, but just to get on live. He doesn't do lives. And, uh, when we had a showcase, of, uh, his two belts that we made for him, um, he, he went on to, he went and did a live. So that was like his first live stream that he did. So that was a, that was a pretty cool accomplishment mm -hmm. on my part. Um, but for the belt, uh, now, uh, he had two versions of it made, um, by two extreme belts, um, Tim Vick there, uh, he, the, he had, uh, the plates, I believe were, uh, boots, uh, or they were from Wildcat, uh, plates. I can't, I can't remember. I don't want to quote that. Um, but, uh, he had gotten that, uh, leathered uh he had one white version made uh with a red backing and he had a black version made with red backing um and at that time the tna belt he was the last tna ch uh champion before uh impact uh before they joined and made it you know impact wrestling mm -hmm. and they vacated the belt so when the whole 
storyline feud. Um, this is the thing. Uh, back in July, he was getting ready to actually leave Impact to join another company. Uh, I can't say which one, but um, I think we know which one. And mm -hmm. uh, he had gotten a good offer, and he had told Scott, "Hey, you know, I'm gonna." Um, for you know go for go and you know go to this other company and he said well you know let's let's bring you out with the bane so he said you know would it be cool if i brought back the uh tna belt you know especially if kenny omega is coming over to you know mm -hmm. defeat. and so uh scott agreed to it uh that taping in nashville he showed up with the white version of the tna championship and uh you know, as you can see how, you know, foreseen, you know, how it went, uh, it was a really cool storyline. Um, so when uh, Rich, Rich Swan had beat Moose to uh, uh, make the TNA and the uh, Impact Belt, you know, one, mm -hmm. uh, they had given back the belt to Moose and then they had brought back the tna belt that was vacated and that was in possession of ross ross had 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 that um and then rich swan had lost to kenny omega because it was title versus title right, right. he had gotten both belts and yeah. there there's a belt collector yeah as you can have it i got kenny omega and then as you see him christian had won it and then he had came to uh the impact taping to retire the belt and uh, vacated it, and so now it sits, you know, on Ross's mantle in his home. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it was a great, great, great storyline. Um, the way they did that, it helped Impact Wrestling. I know you guys don't watch Impact, but you know, it definitely helped with. Brought eyes to it, yeah. Yes, you know, so, and uh, you know, uh, joining forces with AEW, having that open door policy, you know, you know having wrestlers come from nwa having wrestlers come from reign of honor you know it, you know AEW impact you know it was really it was really cool you know like i said it, it helped it was, it was awesome but yeah uh great belt awesome storyline um and i had tried to uh you know put an offer in for the white tna uh, belt from moose and uh he had gotten a better offer overseas and uh he had sold it to a guy over there um but yeah, so now he uh, now he has the uh, black on red version of the TNA uh, in his house um, nice. right now, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool, and of course it looks pretty rough where Kenny Omega's holding it, and so is Christian, that TNA plate, just holding on dear life. Um, one thing, though, I want to critique this, and sorry whoever did the leather on the TNA, but it looks like dog shit. Um, it's horrible. It yeah, is. No, it, it, Horrible. Fucking horrible. Like I love the tight cut on the previous one. You can see holding like cut that, on the perfect cut. Perfect cut. And then this one. Okay, the the leather cut's way too wide. And then they use some weird tooling. I don't know. I don't think it's clamshell. It looks too wide. It looks so weird. It makes the plate look small. And then it's hanging off. Like come on. And then you see Christian holding it, snaps missing. Obviously pulley re leather. Sorry whoever did it. Sorry, but shitty re leather. And then the, the the snap box isn't curving like the previous one did. It just goes straight to it, like I said earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah. Come on, come on, guys. Get a proper leather guy. Who are you guys going for your leather? Speaking of leather, look at TNA Championship that Christian's holding on the right. The nitpick. The backing's peeling off. <laughs> you guys, you guys got to get your Impact World title remade. Just saying, you know. And I may know a guy who does belts. I don't know. He may be on this podcast. <laughs> but moving on to the Jeff Hardy Immortal <laughs> TNA Championship. Um, so for anyone who likes this belt, I think it's time to leave. Um, I'm about to shell on this belt. So if you're not ready for that, hmm. and I'm sure Rob will too. Uh, oh, yeah. let's it's see. coming. <laughs> it is, let me go through three versions. The purple one, uh, dog shit. The white one, uh, also dog shit. And then last, the black one, also dog shit. Now let's, let's look at more more in detail. Uh, the purple one, the strap color is fucking hit, 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 horrific. Like so much paint on that main plate on the side plates, green paint, blue paint, white paint. It is just way too much, and different shades of blue. What the fuck is a face on a belt? It's like the fiend belt. Same stupid fucking concept. It's a fucking face. And then, oh my god. 
it has the rings and there's like either stones or some white paint there. I don't, I can't tell. I really could not be bothered to care. The leather cut, I mean, it goes around the plates, I guess. It just looks ridiculous, especially for those like kind of star plates. Horrific. Good God. What the fuck were they thinking, Rob? Oh man, I'm about to shit on this fucking build. Um, okay, well, where exactly do I start? The leather cut is absolutely horrendous. I mean, absolutely. It reminds me exactly, Max, as that fucking fiend belt. I mean, absolutely. I mean, and then why are you putting a face on the main plate, especially with like lips? I mean, are you trying to like pucker up here and like, am I going to make out with the belt here? Like with the kissing of the lips? I want to kiss the belt, the main plate, like holy shit here like i don't get it and then the, the side plates here what are we trying to pull here i mean absolutely horrendous the the, the shade of the strap or the color of the strap <laughs> like wow jet purple guys jet purple this is exactly what we love to put on belts and i'll tell you i mean probably i mean if i were you know the best thing about this belt guys you you only really want to know what it is i don't own it that's the best thing about it is I don't own it. Oh, Will God. I ever know? eBay probably had they're saturated, I mean, with worse ones that probably look worse than this. This is absolutely flipping horrendous. Literally. I, like seriously, they got like like look at those lips on that belt. Like they got lips on this belt. God. I mean long I ass nose too. And then the longest ass schnoz that goes like here, here are the eyes, and then the schnoz goes like way above the eyes. I mean, it's not even proportioned well here, guys. It really isn't. Whoever made this belt should be shot. Yeah, no, horrendous. the bone structure looks like Michael Jackson in his late. Oh, years. it totally it does. Uh, what is it? Yeah, what is this? The Michael Jackson belt. I mean, seriously. And then I know people. I know people that. Oh yeah, I love this belt. This is an absolute great belt the fuck do you guys know holy shit this thing fucking sucks brandon what do you think <laughs> i feel like ah oh man it, i feel like it could it could poke a couple eyes out <laughs> i'd be scared uh, to handle it I, yeah, uh don't don't fall on that um and then the ninja stars on the for the side plates uh, if you're about to get into a uh, Fortnite battle you can uh, rip those off and start throwing them as you know, little uh, things there, but uh, um, I, I would, I never, I didn't watch, I didn't watch that whole Jeff Hardy uh, double, you know, personality thing, and I don't get the face belt. I mean, he, he he's so creative, and and just the the ring. I thought maybe you know, I hope I I don't know I don't know who designed it i don't know if he designed it i don't know if top ropes designed it um but if that was he was on some heavy acid if uh yeah this is uh, he thought that was gonna sell um but yeah can we please go to the next one <laughs> oh yeah it, it gets better uh, it's, uh, it's another piece of shit now this one is made by top ropes belt so it doesn't have the tna logo but let's ignore that it's the same shitty design now this one is a bit better um a little at least there's no ninja stars on the side sent instead there's like i don't even know what the fuck those are they look like undertaker tombstones i don't know what the fuck that is and then the main plate now it's screaming I, it's not puckering up to kiss you anymore now it's just screaming at you <sighs> God, I, I don't know. I don't understand the leather cut. Holy shit. We we're talking about transitions to the snap boxes. It's wide, and then it goes straight to a little narrow snap box. Oh, God. I don't even want to talk about this. Rob, what do you think? The leather cut is absolutely horrendous here. And then the whole thing with respect to the leather strap, the side plates don't even fit this fucking strap. They're so small. I, I don't get it. And then the main plate, how it curves down and then the mouth and then it just points down. It's horrendous. It absolutely is. And I like white straps and I don't like this. And yeah, I mean, the other the other one's not going to pucker up and kiss me. This one's just going to fucking yell at me. I mean, like literally, like, I mean, with the, with the mouth open here. Absolutely horrendous. It's absolute dog shit. It's horse shit and dog shit mixed together. Um, 
I'm glad, you know, I again, I don't own these belts. Whoever owns these belts, I'm sorry if you are watching this podcast. Um, I suggest that you probably leave because the next versions, I'm going to just really rank on this belt too. I, I don't fucking care. It absolutely is horrible. Brandon, what do you think, man? Um, I think if you flip it upside down, it looks like a spaceship. Yeah. Um, you're right. I think he went from his acid stage to his Egyptian stage. Uh, I think he was, yeah, I don't know what he was on on this one, but uh, I think maybe if he was wanting a blowy from it, you can punch a hole there through the middle and down. But I, I don't know, it looks like Wolverine is on the other side plate right there. Um, I like I said, another don't fall on that belt can poke an eye out. Um, but like I said, man, if if you like this belt, man, more condolences. To. No, go get therapy. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, I mean, better yeah. help is a thing, you know. Like yeah. there's therapists and, and, everywhere. And, and exactly, it's not just us giving you guys condolences. Um, belt addicts anonymous is also going to offer our condolences to you. Um, we feel very, very sorry for you. Um, absolutely. It's absolute horse shit. It really is. I'm better at going to go collect some horse shit and maybe making that a belt. Absolutely. So um, we all feel sorry for you. Anyways. Yeah, now, now to complete the horse shit of horrible belts, it is the black strap version. And somehow this is even more... God, this boring. Is like, worse. what the fuck? At least the other one had like some glow in the dark paint in the eyes and the mouth. And I, I kind of like the paint. It's not bad, but this is like white paint, black paint. All it's bland as hell. Same stupid design. Same stupid fucking leather cut. Just, just painted black. <sighs> Rob, I don't get it though. You know, now with the with the eyes and the mouth, is that actual? Like, is that just white paint, or can I stick my finger through the hole? Like, it looked like a ton. It literally looks. Like a ton like, a like ton. now they've upgraded for your blowy you know, now you got a ton of little, you know, <laughs> seriously like, like, you. i don't need a dick I, I don't i don't need a fucking belt to give me a blowy holy shit but one thing about this though <laughs> it is worse however at least the side plates actually fit they the strap have. a little bit better and the main plate does it's tighter at the at the top i don't like the way that it goes down this is worse but it's still not great. Um, a message, of course. Oh, I forgot to bring the. I forgot to mention them. Uh, United Bitch Brothers. Um, if I was able to get a belt like this, would I? Would I try to get a belt like this? You'd probably make it fucking worse. And I will make it my mission to make sure every single Facebook belt group knows about your sorry asses. You are a disgrace to this community. You guys are. You guys should be shot. If you guys think that you are a great company, you guys are definitely not. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Holy shit. Just when I thought Rob couldn't hate on United Belt Brothers even more, he wants a public execution. Now, before we... Before he goes out of his house and actually shoots them, let's move on to the next version of the belt. Um... Give her a second to compose yourselves. Um, if you want to, you can go to the washroom, wash your eyes out from that horrible mess of the trifecta of dog shit belts. Somehow worse than the fiend belt and eco friendly belt. I don't know how they topped it. Um, now this one, come on. I mean, it's better, but at the same time, it's a fucking stupid design. Okay, I don't know what the fuck they were doing during this time. They were having, having like, identity crisis where the impact with the TNA, where the global first force wrestling, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know. Lots of green, lots of blue, shitty design. Too much, way too much on the main plate. Like, I know uh, Rob, you and Kevin were making fun of me during we talked about the NXT UK tag team titles. Uh, I had way too much on the main plate. This has too much. This is way too much. Is that a fucking dragon or am I high? Is that a dragon in the main plate? What the fuck is that? And then there's a double headed eagle, whatever the hell that is, on the bottom. At least it doesn't have crab legs. It's a circular main plate. Hate those. Stupid leather cut because of the stupid shape of the main plate. Circular main pl side plates. Fucking grommets or plates, whatever the fuck those are. Painted in green, of course, because they want everything to be green. <sighs> 
God, stupid fucking belt. I hate this design way too much. I, fuck, Rob. I actually think that this is better than the piece of shit that we just saw. Oh, yeah. uh, there, I mean, that's not saying much. Um, is there a lot that's happening on the main plate? Yeah, I, I'm with you, Max. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, it looks like a dragon. It could be. Um, is this better than some of the other belts we've been seeing? Yes. I actually don't mind the color. The color's kind of cool. The strap looks weird. It does. Um, I don't know if those are grommets. I have no idea. Uh, side plates are really cool. Uh, side plates, I think, are actually better than the main plate. Not saying yeah. that. Yeah, the impact um, one looks cool. That's what I'm going to say. I mean, that, that's really cool. I like the way the impact is really lit up on that side plate. I like the GFW on the other side plate. Um, the main plate could definitely use some work. Um, like I said, kind of looks like a drag, kind of looks like a Cobra. I'm not sure. Um, it, it is a weird belt, but I'd rather have this than the Jeff Hardy one. I love Jeff Hardy. Don't get me wrong. His belt fucking sucked. Um, other than that, Brandon, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, they have a lot going on in this one. Um, I was always told you know, never mix more than three years, um, with anything, uh, with a car, clothes, with, you know, belts, you know, especially, uh, then you just get, it, you, it's become too much, um, and then overtakes what you're actually looking at, but, um, yeah, I mean, they've, they inquired a lot of stuff in, into that belt, um, they got a lot going on, um, I don't know what continent that is on that side plate there. Um, if made up one or I don't know, but uh, the 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 other impact logo. Um, I feel like you're in a Doctor Strange uh, spell yeah. going in t into something there. Um, into the multiverse. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Uh, spectrum there, but uh, yeah. I'm, if maybe if they wipe that clean, you know, start it over, you know, and then you got the then you got that blue ver the the blue version strap. Like so, you got a lot a lot way too many colors, and I just think they went a little too overboard with that one. Mm -hmm. um, Game of Thrones mixed with you know you know a couple of eagles there, or whatever those are, you know. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, whenever I see this, I feel like I'm gonna get slimed. Nickelodeon slime with that stupid fucking green. I mean, I don't mind the blue, but the green. Why is there a f lime green? It's such a stupid color for a belt. Like, why lime green? Just stick to blue or just do a different shade those, of blue or red or something. Like, uh, those grommets shoot out slime. Shit, I, I wouldn't be surprised. But um, somehow it got worse. They added, once they decided on a final name, they decided that they wanted to be Impact Wrestling. Yeah. They threw, instead of getting a new belt made, well, while they were getting their new belts made, Hell, fuck it. Just get a little piece of metal. Just throw it on there. No care or anything. What the hell is this? It looks like something you would make in shop class. Like sheet metal. Just cut it out. Throw it on there. Boom, that's it. And they still have the GFW on the side plate. They're fucking blind. They forget. They forgot one. It, it, so dumb. It somehow looks worse. And it's silver. Why is it silver? Why isn't it gold? It'll match with the plates more. Fucking lazy. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, I, I totally agree. It's like, you know, I mean, they slapped the Impact Wrestling on, you know, it's uh, it, it's it's kind of like United Belt Brothers not being able to align their stones correctly on their belts because they fucking suck. Um, you know, with respect to this belt, I mean, it's absolutely just absolute dog shit. It is. I would have rather that other one. At least you know that the logo is actually, I mean, they didn't know what the hell they were calling it, but like they just slapped like the metal thing on here. And then the real weird thing is that the main plate is green and then they slap the metal piece with the impact wrestling exclamation point with the black and the, I don't know, what is that? Maybe silver or white. It doesn't go with it. It absolutely doesn't. And I mean, I feel bad whoever's holding this. I absolutely do. And then look, look at the hashtag on there. Look at the hashtag that they see on there. Impact on pop. Did this pop, guys? Fuck no. Brandon, what do you think? <laughs> Man, you're on it tonight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, man, like you said, this, it, it just it seems like it was rushed. Like they just slept Impact on there and they, you know, called it a day. Um, I don't know what their process was into, you know, that next, you know, belt, 
but uh yeah it's, like i said it's literally the same thing with just impact you know stamped mm-hmm. on it uh has no this i can't even comment on it it's just it is what it is yeah and i'm sure it was during a transition period when they were trying to switch to the impact world titles we'll talk about that next when they finally made a proper design they read all their belts thank god but um you can go play to the gold at least like the silver just looks so stupid on there the gold would have match and then it's like okay i get it but the fuck and they forgot a logo on the side plate do you guys forget there's a side player you're too fucking lazy the, the fucking yeah, kid you. the kid who did it on the in the shop class forget about that you know not have enough time during a school period fucking stupid but finally when we finish the belt this is a really cool design i really do love this and it's taken some time to grow on me when i first saw it i didn't like love it too much but i've grown to love it and i, I kind of want it in my collection i'll talk to you later brandon about that but it's a blue impact world championship we'll talk about the red one later I don't know which one I prefer. We'll talk about when we get to the red one, but I really love the design. Of course, the uh, the design is beautiful. Love the impact logo, which just pops right in your face. You know what company you're looking at. Love the touch of blue on the main plate on the side plates. Perfect amount of paint, and I love that background. The background on the main plate on the side plates. It reminds me of the texture for the NXT World Championship, but smaller, and I absolutely love it. Almost similar to Nugget texturing, but more modern almost. I love that design. No fingerprints on that, so it's not going to be a fingerprint magnet. Beautiful, beautiful shade of blue. I think it's a perfect shade of blue. The globes on the sides, you know it's a world title when you see it. It screams champion, and you would be proud to carry this belt over your shoulder, around your waist, doesn't matter. Perfect leather cut, too. I think it's a beauty, beauty of a belt. Rob, what do you think? I absolutely agree, and blue is actually one of my favorite colors. But you know what, Max? Now we're talking. Now we're talking with this belt. This is exactly it. And I totally agree with you. I mean, that shade of blue and that main plate is absolutely amazing. The side plate is absolutely amazing. I love, again, that background, and you just nailed it. It's exactly like the NXT. It's exactly like the NXT uh, V2. Absolutely. It's it's just beautiful. It is. Um, With respect to the leather cut, here we go. This is exactly, this is proper. This is exactly proper here. And they got their logos right. They absolutely did. Um, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this is a lot better. It absolutely is. This is definitely a championship, a championship that you could be proud of, a championship that you could put over the shoulder. Huh, there you go. I, I love it. I absolutely do. Brandon, what do you think? Yeah, this is this is one of the best belts um, Impact um, has made thus far. Um, they changed the uh, the animal, like I said, they went from the dragon, and you know, now they're now they stuck with the owl. Um, with all their impact championships, now there's an owl on each uh, championship. Um, it, it feels like they finally found their identity. Now it has like continuity. It's not a bunch, bunch of random belts, and of course, brand yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. So you know, there's going to be a distinctive owl. You know, usually on each belt, and uh, they did a pretty good job with the owls. They didn't make them too, you know, moderate. They made them kind of badass, you know. Which yeah. Really, um, yeah, top rope's really good with this uh, design, um, with the leather cut. Also, um, I will tell you though, the be- the strap is beat to shit. Um, yeah. Uh, I personally have seen it, um, and uh, the picture is on it. Uh, sitting next to my belt that we had made, um, the two belts that we made for Moose, and uh, he he wished, uh, you know, it it didn't get the green light, um, you know, unfortunately. But uh, right now, the the storyline that they're doing, but you know, they said you know eventually maybe down the line they'll you know he'll they'll allow it. Um, hoping maybe for hard to kill, uh, we're gonna try one more time. Uh, asking Scott if we if uh, we can do the black version now. We tried the red version because um, that was we got the most hype on um, through the uh, fan base uh, through Impact. They love the red one, but you know it's it's whatever you know the producers want. So uh, yeah, but this belt um, y- y- you want it in your collection. Um, it's anywhere I go with the belt. That's one of the first belts people grab. You know, for pictures is is the Impact belt. Um, they uh, they did a really good job, like I said, with this. Um, 
good quality. Um, like you said, the fingerprints, you don't get any fingerprints on it. Um, that's one thing I, I hate, especially when you're holding the bell and, you know, you want somebody to look at it, you know, what you want it to look good. You don't want all those fingerprints all over mm-hmm. it, especially other people touching it, you know, so yeah, all around the uh, symmetrical, uh, plate, you know, the front plate of it is awesome. Um, I've made about probably eight of them right now, um, through my company and, uh, like I said, I have gotten great feedback. Like I said, nothing negative, um, you know, so you know you're doing a good job when, you know, you can replicate it to make it look that good, you know, just like what they have. And like I said, I literally have, you know, the guy that's the current champion right now has two versions of it, you know, in his in his uh, trophy room. So, and he's actually on a tour with it right now. He brought the red, uh, no, he brought the black version with him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he go, he does all of his uh, indie wrestling shows with the with that one. Um, oh, that's just fucking can't, cool. He just can't show it on the impact. But uh, when he goes to all of the uh, smaller events that he get, that he does, um, he's he's got it because he's got his official uh, logo in the stamp. So that's one thing our company does um, through with all the impact wrestlers that want a belt. Um, they send me their logo, and then we go and stamp the logo into their strap. You know, and then you know that's cake. Yeah, it's it's a it's a beauty of a belt, and yeah. it just looks great on there. The leather cut looks beautiful. Side plates look beautiful, and I love the owl. It's just like a nice change from eagle or whatever the fucking dragons they had on the other belt. Right. It's a nice change. I mean, everyone's so used to the eagle on every single belt. The anthem owl, it's a cool thing. It matches the channel. It makes sense on Access TV. And it's a cool continuity for all belts. They all match together. They're all kind of, they all match. And it, it, it's a great thing to see. It feels like Impact finally found their identity with these belts. And I hope they don't change them anytime soon. Now, of course, the red version, this is just repainted version of the blue one. And yeah, same great things. I prefer the blue one. Honestly, I don't really love the shade of this red. It's kind of too bright for me. Um, but it's not bad too. I've been contemplating to get the red one because, of course, you know, the best belt machine, the belt collector, Kenny Omega held this belt, and I'm very tempted to get all the belts that he held. The of course the AAA, the Impact, the TNA. We'll see one day, but I really do love the blue version and the red version. I've had to pick one; I picked the blue one, but just because of who held the red version, I'm tempted to go for the red one. So might just end up getting both. Who knows? But I, I really love it. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, I'm kind of with you. Um, I I absolutely love the blue one, and I, I mean, blue is my favorite color. Do I like the red one though? Of course. Yeah, I absolutely do. Um, you know, with respect to it, that red is a really, really jet shade of red. It seems. I don't know. Is it taking a little too much away from the other? Well, there's no color, I guess, on the rest of it. But. Um, I mean, I still, I still like it. I really do. It kind of, I don't know, this belt, I mean, the rugged look, you know, with respect to where it's gone. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know, as we were talking about that NXT UK championship. Um, well, so the, the, yeah, the NXT UK, uh, sorry, Max, but uh, kind of like the dungeon a little bit with yeah. respect to the, the main plate. I don't know. It's kind of like we're uh, we're opening it up here. It's kind of like if you were to go to I don't know if you went to California Adventure and you went on the uh, the flipping uh, I don't know what is it the Tower of Terror right? If you you go on that and you're opening up, oh yeah, here you go, go sit down. It's kind of cool. Would I get both belts? I would. I actually would because I do like them. I really do, and I'm with you. I like where they've been through. Where where the belt collector? That's exactly it, right? Um, I think Impact's really, really done really, really well with uh, with some of these belts uh, that they've come out from the blue version. So I, I do like it. I, I really do. Brandon, what do you think? Yeah, man, it's uh, they uh, they definitely uh, did good with this um, uh, when they did the whole repaint version over. Yeah, you know, they went from the you know the blue kind of. Um, you know, backdrop with everything more to the red, you know, more of a, uh, you know, darker, you know, kind of, you know, badass, you know, we're taking this company to, you know, a new, a new era. Um, everybody that's held that, the red belt, uh, version of it, all badass, um, great champions. Um, all the people that have held the blue belt also great champions um so if you're definitely looking to have both of those for a collection then yeah i would i would get both um they um 
said, they're, they're, they're awesome. They're an awesome belt. Um, they uh, definitely uh, showcase, you know, what Impact's all about and what they're trying to do. And uh, I'm a big fan of it. Damn right. And you can see it looks fucking amazing on moves. And then there's that white strap version you were talking about. It's, an, it's a beautiful belt, and it looks great on everyone. It looks like a real-world title. I prefer the blue one, but the history behind the red one, I don't know. I'll see how I feel. Might have to get both. Who knows? But now let's talk about replicas. There's only one really that I'm talking about. It's the official TNA replica. It is a absolute beauty. We were talking about it earlier, Rob, when we talked about this design. It is super rare to find this. Um, of course, not too many were sold before. And it's hard to find one, especially in good condition. I see a lot of them with tarnish or the strap beat the shit. It's hard to find a good condition one that isn't tarnished or isn't missing any bolts or isn't falling apart. And honestly, I'm more of a boot and official replica but for this belt i'm probably leaning towards the official one because it is so damn good there's just some belts that sure the boots are good but the official one is so fucking good that i just i have to go with it what do you think rob uh man rarity it is a rare belt um I mean, I remember watching an unboxing. Um, I'll mention them on here. I think I mentioned before. Um, Rainbow Wrestling Warrior YouTube, uh, a YouTuber, but uh, he was collecting the uh, the belts, and then he unboxed this. It had a shit ton of signatures on it on the back, um, but he, heavy. It was so heavy, and I mean, to find one in good condition, to find one in you know not tarnished um leather you know to be good place to be good no scratches i mean it's tough it, it really really is um if you are looking for this and we shout out to the belt addicts anonymous universe because that's where all three of us are from um if you are looking for belts like this um message one of the admins and uh, we'll be able to help you hopefully with respect to this um there might be someone in the group selling one of these i i don't know you don't see them too often, but again, we have a heck of a team of admins that have been in the belt collecting uh, hobby for a long time. We'll be able to steer you in the right direction uh, with respect to it. And we've got all contacts. We really do. Uh, so we'll be able to hopefully help you uh, help you um, with respect to this. Um, I will mention it, though. Um, if I if I found this, though, um, would I put it on my wall? I'd make room for it. I mean, come on here. It's a rarity. It's rare. I'm going to change my middle name to rare. I should. Or figure sync. Anyways, Brandon, what do you think? Yes, I uh, I am a owner of this belt. Um, it's it's one of my favorite belts. It's one of the heaviest belts. It's almost uh, in comparison to the uh, ECW uh, Big Silver there. Uh, the last one that they had before um, they got bought out there, they sold or whatever happened there. But uh, yeah, weight-wise, it's it's pretty freaking heavy. Um, again, that's a belt that everybody wants to hold and see and touch when I go to my events. Um, but I uh, there I had a uh, customer that really wanted um, my strap, so I uh, I had my uh, my guy Kane there re-leather my yeah. belt, and uh, uh, that's going to be. Uh, I'll have pictures on that here pretty soon. So what we did is we took some plates that my uh, snaps and straps did, and we we're going to be putting the plates on to that um, strap that uh, he wanted because the, I have every single TNA and Impact wrestler that uh, signed the belt. So I got from Booker T to Hulk Hogan to the, uh, Steiner to... Nash, every everybody, Kurt Angle, everybody that was there, um, TNA signed that belt. Um, I had found that on eBay. Um, he had listed it at, I think it was almost around like nine hundred with like taxes and stuff. And uh, I talked him down. Uh, got it for seven hundred bucks. So I, to me, that was a steal. Yeah. Um, the steal. Qual like I said, man, like, no scratches, nothing wrong with it. Um, the only thing is the leather was, uh, their leather is their, their leather. And, uh, at, um, that was about it. But other than that, it, it's, it's worth it if you can find it. And if you can, you know, get a good deal on it, I highly recommend it. Cause it's one of those belts you have to have in your collection, mm -hmm. especially if you're a Kenny Omega fan and you want the, uh, belt collector, uh, 
uh, trifecta there, then yeah, definitely get it. For sure. Now, unfortunately, this brings us to the end of the podcast, but before we leave, I did promise Brandon a surprise segment. Now, this is a segment we might start doing, I don't know, about every week, maybe bi-weekly. We'll see how I feel when we do them. Now, this is going to be a pretty fun segment, and I'll be honest, I did steal this, or borrow the idea from Pounding the Meat, so shout out to them. I did see them do this with Dan McMahon, so I'm going to do it with uh, Brandon and see what you think about these uh, belts. Now, I was trying to think of a clever name uh, to explain this segment, and I just thought there's no better name than just say what it is, and that is Ship Belts of the Week. Now, I did scour the internet and do intense research to find some of the shittiest belts on the world. Now, I know Rob shits on United Belt Bros. This week, I gave him a little bit of a break. I didn't show any of their belts, and easily I could have found a bunch of those, and then we talk about that for days. But for today, not United Belt Brothers. That'll be a different episode, and that'll be a fun one. I know Rob's going to like that one. Uh, Today is a different maker. Now, I'm sure there's an issue for a lot of people, especially if you have Instagram and you're into wrestling. I think every day I get about three follow requests from random makers, horrible makers, and... Man, it is so funny just seeing some of their belts. And this one is by far one of the funniest ones. Um, these are belts by DOF Wears. Great belt name. Um, let me show you two of their beauties. Now, the first one is a beautiful, absolutely accurate AEW World Championship. And the other is a red logo IC. Both beautiful belts, high quality replicas. Now, keep in mind, these are available in 2 millimeter, 4 millimeter, and 6 millimeter brass or zinc. So you got anything for everyone. I'm sure Rob, you'll love these. I'm sure Brian, you'll love these. Without further ado, let me show you these beauties. <laughs> now, I don't think I have to speak too much. These are absolutely wonderful. Some of the best replicas in the market you can get. Better than classic shields and for a budget. These are fucking horrendous. Holy shit. Um, all jokes aside, these are the biggest pieces of that I've ever seen. Um... I think I took a shit this morning and it looked better than this. Mm. It looks absolutely horrendous. I almost threw up on the train when I saw this photo. I got sick to my stomach and a part of me died when I saw this. Look at that AEW championship. What the fuck is that? It looks like Lego bricks. What the fuck? Why is it so? What are those angles and the stone job? Why are the stones going into the W? Why is there two random stones just going in there? Not stacked, single layered. The strap is beef jerky. And then the IC. Good God. It looks like half a millimeter, negative one millimeter brass. It looks like they painted on it with Sharpie, of course, on a cardboard strap. Rob, what do you think about these beauties? Holy fuck. <sighs> Unreal. Um, okay, so, so where do I start? So the one on the left, um, that, I mean, it's really funny. Those side plates are probably bigger than the actual main plate. Um, absolutely. Um, the stones are absolute horde. Um, really nice layers we got here, eh? No stack, no nothing. I give good gift to you. That's exactly what they say. I give you good belt, sir. Yeah, this is, that's an absolute piece of shit. Like, give me a fucking break. Holy crap. And then that leather. The leather is absolute horrid, too. Um, absolutely. I mean, and, and I don't get the rookie bell collectors, guys. And I'm just going to throw it out here. And there was a post on Belt Addicts Anonymous where this guy was actually looking at a network logo. I feel bad for him, okay. But anyways, I'm not going to mention his name. And he's looking at it. He's looking at it. And they want to charge 340 US for a bootleg. I mean, for, for a piece of shit bootleg. You could probably get this for really, really cheap. You absolutely could. Um, similar. I wonder how long it would take ORM to make a piece of shit like this. I really, really would. Uh, absolutely. Intercontinental belt looks absolute horrid, too. You're right. It looks like they did a Sharpie on that WWF. Uh, absolutely. The writing looks absolute horrid. Um, the writing is inconsistent. Um, it's absolutely inconsistent. It kind of looks like it was just kind of like pasted on. Um, with respect to the thickness on the, on the plates, you're right. It's probably like negative, like a 0.25 or something. Absolutely. I mean... What I'm trying to promote in my collection, and I'm not knocking a lot of boot makers, because there's some really, really good ones, okay? I am I mean, I do collect licensed replicas, I do, but there are high-end quality bootleg makers. Nawaz, 
um, Classic Shields, probably the best belt maker there is. This is a fucking travesty. It absolutely is. What I'm trying to promote here, what I've got here, this, holy shit, my wife would kill me. My wife, my, like, my wife would actually kill me if I tried to buy something like this. I would feel like I got scammed because, like, I mean, she's getting into belts. She knows belts. She's starting to. This, oh, my goodness gracious me. Fuck, like, Jamie and Casey would be all over this stuff. <laughs> I mean, they really would. Uh, wow. Brandon, what do you think? You agree, though? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to the dark side with you, Rob, on this. Um Listen, listen. This is this is the thing with I feel with uh, with belt collectors. Um, I, I I can admit when I first started uh, getting back into this, I was very apprehensive on wanting to get a belt quick, fast, cheap, and it's not the way to go. Ladies and gents, uh, you're hearing it from me. I'm telling you right now save your money for a couple weeks get some get in with somebody that is a, a good belt maker and get you a really decent belt don't don't get into the rush of okay i got like 150 dollars. i got save that 150 dollars because you know if you get paid every two weeks you get your paid every week well guess what there's there's another 150 dollars so now you're you're in that range to getting a high quality belt um so say just hold off don't don't buy this stuff because now you're you're letting in these these shit makers that you know are blowing up your your dm saying buy belt buy belt high quality belt you know and then you're 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 ruining it you're ruining it for the the experience of these of these new people that are getting into this hobby buying these belts thinking they're getting a really good deal then they're getting them and it's not what what it's meant to be they go and post it they get made fun of they get, you know like if if you can eliminate that and you know belt addicts anonymous is substantial with that they don't they don't allow that shit in their group uh so that's going to save you a lot of heartache and a lot of drama so you know find your high quality people find the people that know what they're doing and get with them so so we can get rid of these these that think they're belt makers and ruining the uh the, the hobby for everybody um but yeah with that being said there's my rant on that um but yeah next please no i think that was beautifully said but i'm not done shitting on the belt i got one more thing to say <laughs> uh did they, did they cut out the plates or did they use like these like kid scissors with the zigzags to cut out the plates because what the fuck is that like the edges and then the leather Good, good. good. Uh, let's move on to the next set of beauties. Um, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> so, apparently, I thought uh, that the yeah. WWE 2020 shop re release of the hardcore title looked beautiful, so they wanted to replicate it. Of course, they sharpied over or spray painted that. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. At least they have the Hampton tape. Um, looks like they used some dark blue paint, uh, probably water pastels to paint it. That smoking skull, the leather cut is absolutely horrendous. The paint is way too much. Thin ass plates, fucking ridiculous. And the undisputed, holy shit, what is that area above the wings? Is that the wings? Or I don't understand because those wings are painted so much. It looks like a fucking crow. It's not an eagle anymore. It's a crow. That's how dark those wings are. WWF logo, fine. The bird looked like it's missing a fucking beak. The main pl the name plate for Undertaker. If you zoom in, those are not bolts. Oh no no, those are stones. Ugh. So instead of unscrewing your uh, name plate, oh no, you're gonna take off the stones. Fuck. Oh, uh, Rob, what do you think of these beauties? Oh man, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's almost like I just woke up and just like was fucking just blown away by this. Bullshit. I mean, seriously. So you sure this is not United Bitch Brothers? <laughs> I don't think so. They might be in affiliation. They might be uh, working together. But from what oh, I know, 
And I, I love how they decided that they could take it upon themselves with the re-release of the WWE Hardcore belt. But they think that they can come out with something that's that's uh, that's better. I mean, that thing fucking sucks anyway. And this WWE shop, this thing is absolutely worse. Um, w- w- <laughs> I don't get what with uh, with respect to that plate. Um, I, I don't know what they're trying to pull here. Um, with respect to it, it's it's absolute dog shit. It absolutely is. And man, that fucking undisputed. What are they doing? Why is it colored in at the top? I don't I don't get that. I'm looking at mine and I'm looking at this one. The WDF logo looks really small too. Um, and then the champion banner is absolute brutal. I, I don't know what they're doing. And I guess with respect to the Undertaker nameplate, you better like Undertaker because that's the nameplate you're going to get. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised he spelled Undertaker correctly. I'm surprised. I'm checking for spelling too. mistakes because they probably would have spelled it wrong. Good I'm, God. I'm obviously surprised too. Um, if you would love to change your nameplate, take out the stones and hopefully it'll fall off. Um, and then we've got the smoking skull here that absolutely looks like dog shit too. Um, absolute incredible. I love how they have the swoosh underneath the WWF absolutely beautiful um i mean amazing uh with, with respect to rookie bell collectors i'm with you brandon spend your money on something that's going to promote quality it's not about quantity it's about quality this is absolute horseshit belt addicts anonymous will not have any of this crap happen in the groups, we want you to join Belt Addicts Anonymous because we do not judge. We judge these pieces of shit. Don't get me wrong. Um, but we will not judge you. Okay, if you are rookie belt collectors, we will direct you in the right spot. Okay, there are some other uh, Facebook groups that actually judge people. I'm not going to mention them on here. If you do have questions, they just rip you. They rip you to shreds. They absolutely do. And we'll talk about it when we're off camera, guys, which ones I mean. But um, but with respect to this, we will not judge you. Belt Addicts Anonymous promotes a judge. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll help you get some help. We absolutely do. If you think that these are good, though, um, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. But hey, hey, that being said, these are just our opinions, right? Like, yeah, they if are. you want to spend your money on this, uh, and if you're going to like it, it honestly does not matter what we say. Like, we're shitty on these belts because they look like dog shit and they're horrible. But hey. If you want to spend your money on this and you're going to enjoy it, at the end of the day, it's, it's not true. all that matters. It, it, it but is true. don't expect anyone to praise you when you post it on the groups because no. there's a lot of people who will make fun of you. And, me and, and, and that's the and that's the thing, you know, like it's it's, it's you, I feel like some some people that buy these belts, they're they're asking for it. They're they're wanting to start drama. They're wanting to start a a commotion. You know, if if you don't feel like you're comfortable posting it, or if you don't feel you know, get a couple people's opinions on it before you make the post, because then that's when all the negative shit starts piling in. And I'm not talking about about belt addicts. I'm talking about like other groups that you're in, these other belt groups that are you're. you're involved in you know you're, you're gonna get negative input and then that's just gonna make your you know second thoughts on that you know oh why did i get this belt why did i do this i'm you know yada 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 etc cetera, etc cetera, you know so you know take it from all of us save your damn money wait a couple weeks wait a few weeks wait a month like you're gonna get the belt eventually you don't need it now you don't you know if it's not something that's a necessity if you want this shit quality then go ahead buy it but don't expect the you know the rave you know outcome that you think you're gonna get when you put it out. Like expect the put in, but you're gonna get back. Like it, it's it's just it's self-explanatory. Okay. So you know that that's all I'm gonna say on that part. Like just do your homework. You know, do your research. If you see some Pakistan maker that has you know these you know quality belts, or you're seeing these pictures, you know that aren't what you think they are. Well, it's probably true. So, you know, get, get with somebody that knows what they're doing and you'll, you'll figure it out. And, and that's exactly it. Exactly. Sorry, it. I sorry, couldn't have, yeah, I couldn't have said it much better. And I mean, with respect to the team that we have at Belt Axe Anonymous, with respect to the nine of us that are on that admin team, you're going to find that we've really been in the belt hobby for a while. We know our belts. We know everything about it. So we will be able to answer these questions for you. We don't want you to get stuck with this, even though if you want it, fine. That's fine. But like Brandon said, if you do post this, you won't hear it from me. I'm not going to praise you. I'm sorry. I'm not going to like the post. 
I'm just I'm, yeah, I'm, no. I'm and, and if you're not sure if a makers cause sometimes makers you don't expect this like hey props to this maker for actually posting their real work at least they didn't post like classic shields or noahs or the actual real belt sure. or even the shop replica and then saying that they sell that because if anything that's even worse like at least they're posting their shit works so if you know what you're getting there are some makers who don't do that though they, they lie to you and they'll post other people's work and maybe you don't know you're not sure you're like oh that looks like a damn good bill you order it and then you get this piece of shit and you're like wait why did i spend 300 dollars for it? like even if you spend a lot of money it doesn't mean you're gonna get a good belt that's only if it's a trusted seller now we talked about belt that is anonymous but that's more towards the official belts and some bootlegs too of course we don't sell them on their only trades if you want some more information of course you can contact any of the admin we can help you out with that but if you're not sure, if you're buying something, and I, I know from experience, it's kind of scary to buy it for someone. You know, like, you don't know them. They're just on Facebook. You're sending money through PayPal or Cash App or whatever. And sure, there's some security, but it's kind of just like hoping for the best. And it's kind of worrying. So sometimes you're not sure if a maker or a seller is safe or trusted. And a group that I do recommend, me and Robert Adams there newly, is a guide to the belt hobby, the do's and don'ts of the belt collecting. If you guys want information, more information, check out Belt Addicts Anonymous. We do have it posted on there. You can message one, you know, either one of us for an invite. We have a scammers list, a trusted makers list. So if you're not sure if someone's a scammer, or I always do this, if I'm buying someone I don't know or I haven't bought from before, just check. You know, there's no harm in checking or do reference check just in case because you can always get scammed. And I've gotten scammed before and it sucks. You know, just do your research, please, guys. Um, but yeah. That does bring us to the end of the podcast, but I think once again I'm having some memory loss. I unfortunately I don't remember how the podcast ends. Rob, help me out. How do we finish the podcast? So of course we put uh, the belt over the shoulder, but do we, uh, Max? Do we want to mention what we're doing uh, for next week's episode? I think we're having um, two special co-hosts I think so with us. Well, let me try and put the belt over my shoulder and see if I remember. Ah, yeah, we do have two special guests, but Brandon, which belt do you have over your shoulder or around your waist right now at the moment? Well, my, my lovely fans here, we have the 1999 wow. version of the WWE Figs Inc. United States Championship in five-star mint condition. As you can see, the nice and shiny glare off of the camera there. And then I had it signed by... Kevin Nash, Paul, The Outsiders. So. Beautiful, beautiful belt. Rob, what do you have over your shoulder? Or I maybe actually, around your wrist. <laughs> I forgot my wrist because I actually I just got <laughs> this. Uh, I unboxed this today. Um, I'm an adult belt collector, guys. But um, like I said, I am going to probably change my middle name to Rare or Fears Inc. It's the kids WWF hardcore title. Now, this is licensed it is a kid's belt it is kind of cool so on the back of it you can see it on camera but it is stamped figures inc 2001 it's a kid's belt you know what why not eh, why cool. not it so just goes cool. on the wall it's kind of goes over my shoulder kind of <laughs> i think it'd work more around your wrist but i just have uh it doesn't really have anything to do with this episode or next week's episode just no. a re-leathered rod tag just showing you the beauty of re-leathering yeah, Get your yeah. belts leather guys. Come yeah. on. But Brandon's belt does have to do with next week's episode mm -hmm. because next week we're having both Brandon and Casey on, two great uh, co hosts, because we were going over the Figures Inc. WCW entire line. That is going to be a great episode. If you guys watch the 2001 WWF Figures Inc. line, similar to that, but we're doing it with the WCW belts. Lots of, lots of beauties. I'm sure I'm going to have a few controversial thoughts to piss you guys off, like always. <laughs> fun episode guys make sure to check out last week's episode we went over with eddie williams the which else did we go over rob well well the, <laughs> i don't even remember actually ring of honor. Which ring of honor. there we go there we go what was it it, it wasn't it wasn't the ring of honor we did the we, we did those two uh oh my god uh, i'm losing my mind too many talking about too many belts, we, we, my we bad. About too many belts. it was the um, block logo added to block our belts logo. that's right my bad that's guys it. i'm having a bit of amnesia make sure to check out too. last week's episode Make sure to check out next week's episode. We're going over the uh, Figures, Inc. WCW line with Brandon and Casey. Of course, Rob, like every week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.